It's a bit. Oh, shit. oh shit, that I Yeah, almost <laughs> So you've had enough of daily shaving and waxing and looking for a more long-term solution to hair removal. Well, I don't blame you because that was sore. But before you've even began looking around, you're faced with two choices, IPL or laser hair removal. So in this video, we're going to dive into five ways that they differ from each other and which one would suit you. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Claudio and I own an aesthetic clinic. And on this channel, we explore the science behind skincare and aesthetics and how you can achieve maximum growth and success in business and in life. So you start doing some research or visiting a few places that offer laser hair removal treatments. All of a sudden you're bombarded with everyone offering the best laser hair removal treatments or the best IPL treatments. In other words, the best long term form of hair removal out there. But each place offers the service with a different machine or device. The problem is not so who do you trust? What machine is better than the other one? Which one gives you the most bang for your buck. The problem is you're going to be investing a lot of time and money into a treatment. So naturally you would want to get the best return. You don't want to get this decision wrong. What if by the end of your treatments, your results aren't what you had expected and your hair starts growing back at superhuman pace? or worse still, getting hurt because you've had the wrong treatment done for your skin type. So the key difference between IPL and laser hair removal is basically the type of light used. Permanent hair reduction results can be expected from both. If you want a more detailed video about how laser hair removal actually works, I'll link it to the top here. You can go check that one out. Before we begin, it's important to know your specific skin type because this will be used to guide you on the decision that you could make. And this can be done with what's called the Fitzpatrick scale. Laser technicians and aesthetic doctors use this scale to determine the effectiveness and safety of laser treatments on different skin types. Lasers have a multitude of settings that need to be adjusted to match the skin type. Depending on how the skin reacts to the laser light will determine the settings and devices recommended to use. So without further ado, here are the five key differences that separate laser hair removal from IPL. Number one, power, the actual power of the device and the energy that's emitted. Professional laser treatments work more selectively and therefore produce a lot more concentrated power onto the hair follicle itself. So as an example, you can see here how precise that is if you're looking at targeting your hair follicles. With IPL, that light energy is more dispersed and less accurate. It's unfocused, emitting less energy, meaning less power, making it weaker. However, darker skin types will attract more energy towards the skin and therefore can increase the chance of causing burns with regards to IPL. And this again is because IPL has less accuracy and basically targets not only the hair follicles with darker skin types, but also the surrounding skin. So number one goes to laser for the win. Number two, treatment time. As demonstrated earlier, because the laser is a concentrated beam of light, the actual spot size that it's targeting is a lot smaller than what you would get with IPL. IPL, because it's more of a flash lamp, like demonstrated as well, it covers a larger surface area of the skin, therefore making the treatments quicker because of the coverage that you get. That being said though, with technology advancing, lasers nowadays also have what they call in-motion technology, where it's basically the handpiece sliding on ultrasound gel. So instead of just zapping away, moving, next area zapping away, next area, it's basically moving around, doing 
quick rate firing. With most treatments nowadays, if you're looking like an area, like your underarm area, those treatments can usually take anything around 10 minutes to do. Now. However, depending where you're gonna be getting your treatments done, the clinic might be busy and obviously they will see you by appointment. So there will be a bit of waiting times. Whereas if you're going to be using an at-home device then you kind of choose your time on demand when you want to be treated. And also remember that if you're going to a clinic, you will be treated by a professional qualified to operate the laser with lots of experience. And the benefit of that is also if there's certain areas that are difficult to kind of get to yourself, they can obviously get there a lot easier as if you had your own device at night you were trying to go into nooks and crannies. So then with regards to treatment time, I would call number two a draw because of technology advancements. Number three, cost. Generally, you would need twice as many IPL treatments on an area as if you were getting laser done. Again, this is now because of the concentration and the power of the laser itself. So where IPL could be cheaper per session, bear in mind that to have the same results, you most likely would have to come for more sessions to have the same effect. So in the long run, it could kind of either cost the same or cost you more. Also another thing to factor in is the cost of your time. If you're going into a clinic professionally treated with a laser, that's time. Whereas if you were getting treated IPL, maybe the at home device, that's you physically also doing the treatment yourself. So prices can generally vary, obviously location to location wherever you are, but generally IPL will be cheaper. And for that reason, number three, goes to IPL. Number four, effectiveness. Typically, IPL will require more treatments and produce less effective results. Lasers can also treat a wide range of skin types and hair, whereas IPL can't. Especially if you are dark skinned, IPL has much more of a greater risk associated with it to cause burns. So melanin is what gives our skin and hair its color, the pigments. And because of this, laser is able to target only the melanin leaving the skin intact then. Whereas IPL can't really do this because IPL has multiple wavelengths. So it not only targets the, the hair follicle, but it also targets the skin and can affect the skin. And the reason why it's not as safe on darker skin types is because now the darker skin has more melanin in it, along with the hair follicles, pulls in more energy, which then could cause burns. The general rule is that the darker the skin, the less safe IPL is considered to be. A comparison study was done. I'll link it below for you if you want to have a read. So the aim of the study was basically to compare the efficiency of diode, laser hair removal and IPL. Two groups of female patients, roughly skin type 4. The percentage of hair reduction after two sessions of treatment was a maximum of 40% in the diode laser group, followed by a 10% hair reduction in the IPL group. Further along, the percentage of hair reduction after four sessions of treatment was a maximum of 64% in the diode laser group, followed by a 48% hair reduction in the IPL group. And if you guys are enjoying the content on my channel, I would love to increase the percentage of my subscriber counts. If you could just help me out there and hit that subscribe button, thank you. So number four, hands down, I would say laser for effectiveness. Last but not least, number five, pain. Which one is more painful? So I can talk from my own experiences and I can say that laser and IPL have never been as painful as waxing. People also have different thresholds. Some have sensitive skin, others not so sensitive. Certain areas in the body is also a lot more sensitive than others. Also devices are different and the settings on them in terms of energy levels can be changed depending on the skin type. I wouldn't say also either of them is painful but they can cause slight discomfort. IPL has been described as feeling like an elastic band snapping against your skin. 
Laser on the other hand I feel is less discomfort because with technology advances as mentioned before nowadays you get integrated cooling in the lasers that actually cool the skin while you're getting the treatment done at the same time making it much more of a comfortable experience. I can only speak for myself but when I've had it done basically what it feels like is just a warm sensation you know going over the skin kind of like a hot stone massage. Again this is subjective because each person will be different. Person Personally me, I give laser the win for this. So choosing the perfect hair removal method is a personal choice. But key things to remember when you are deciding and making a decision is your skin type, whether you have lighter or darker skin. If you've got darker skin, give IPL a hard pass, rather go with laser. The approximate amount of money you're willing to spend on your treatment. What's your budget? Also something to just bear in mind is that a lot of places out there are using IPL but charging laser prices. So don't get tricked. A lot of places can be sneaky. A lot of them just how they are but make sure whatever you decide you know if it's IPL or if it's laser and check the pricing comparatively. Also the amount of time that you're willing to wait to get the results that you want. Both methods also also have similar side effects so they're pretty much equal in that sense after treatment you might just be a bit red in the area maybe slight swelling but everyone reacts differently nothing to worry about that lasts for about a day and I would stay out of the Sun for about a day to three days However, IPL can be the star of the show for treatments such as superficial hyperpigmentation, varicose veins, rosacea, and yes, it can do hair removal, but it doesn't steal the show in any way with hair removal. So in my opinion, laser hair removal is the most effective way of deforesting your hairy bits. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.